Less than a month away from the first show in the Muni's 100th season. It is going to be an incredible summer, and today we get to be part of a big announcement. All right, 100th season. How do you feel? I mean, uh. no. <laughs> Mike Isaacson has had a lot of big moments. His theatrical productions have picked up 29 Tony Awards, but this summer he's part of something that's never been done. Ultimately, the Muni 100 is a celebration of St. Louis because no other city has ever done this, has this, and created it, and sustained it, and been a part of 10,000 people every night. It's an incredible gift. As artistic director, Tim, okay. Siobhan, okay. and executive producer of America's largest and oldest outdoor theater, the pressure is on. So yeah, here we go, it's big. <laughs> and today, he's making a big announcement about The Wiz, a musical that was originally on Broadway in 1975. And as time goes on with many musicals, uh, you take a, you relook at the book, you re you reshape it. So we looked for the perfect, perfect writer to come in and help us do this, and we found a member of your NBC family, who I've fallen in love with, and she's uh, an incredible comedian, and she loves musicals, and she loves The Wiz, and her name is Amber Ruffin. And we have her on satellite <laughs> from New York. Yay! Hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> Amber Ruffin is a writer and on-air personality for Late Night with Seth Meyers. I do a recurring segment called Amber Says What? Okay, first of all, Prince William and Kate had a baby boy, and everyone was like, what? <laughs> then Kendrick Lamar became the first rapper ever to win a Pulitzer Prize for music, and I was like, what? She also does a bit called Jokes Seth Can't Tell. Meghan Markle has allegedly put Prince Harry on a pre-wedding diet. Just what every black woman wants, a skinny white man. Funny stuff, but reworking the whiz is a passion project. Girl, I am thrilled. I mean, it was so exciting because you grow up watching this show. It's part of your life. You know, if you're a comedian you, or, and performer, you watched it and it motivated you. So Amber, how different is this, writing a musical, than doing what you do for Late Night? Well, you know what? Because we had the um, template, if you will, in place, it wasn't that much different. You just took out um, older sayings and put in um, timeless sayings and uh, added, you know, as many jokes as the piece can hold. <laughs> <laughs> Is there one, one joke that you're like dying for people to hear when they see The Wiz? There are like a thousand. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not you <laughs> that is a spoiler you will find out on opening night it seems mike found exactly the right person for the job oh it is going to be amazing one more amazing fact amber is the first african-american woman on the writing staff of a u.s late night network talk show the muni's 100th season opens june 11th with jerome robbins broadway you can see the whiz june 19th through the 25th tickets start at 15 dollars and are on sale now at the muni box office in forest park online at muni.org and by calling 314-534-1111 until then you can see amber's work on late night with seth meyer's weeknights at 11.35.